All right, let me get my tea. Let me sit myself down. Oh, Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? I'm going to talk to you about what's on my mind right now. And uh, this is an important one. This was so important, I had to get my tea mug, okay? Mm. Yes, okay. Oh, you know what I need to do? I'm going to put my phone on mute while I speak on this. Give me a second. You go ahead and get a seat. Take a seat. Because Big Daddy got to talk to you. Yes. Okay. So, let's talk about the YouTube shooting. All right? Yeah. You know, we just saw it yesterday on the news. It went worldwide. It went national. It went viral. You know what? To be honest with you, I made a joke through Twitter. And, the, and it said, oh my God, the kids are upset over their monetization and they shooting up, they shooting up the place. Now at the time the news was saying it was a domestic issue. It was a upset girlfriend. Okay. Later that night, I don't even think it had gotten dark here in Texas yet and they were saying what the real reason was or the real tea. And um, when I found out the reason behind the shooting, I couldn't couldn't believe number one, it was a female. Okay, but and that's one thing I couldn't believe it was a woman. Then I saw the girl's picture or the woman's picture, and yeah, I can believe it. It was a woman because them eyes just scream crazy. But what got me was, yes, I made a joke about it, but for some reason in me, I felt like what the joke, the joke I made, I already knew that's what that shooting was about, okay? Because I, I just had the funniest feeling in me, that's what, that's what had happened. And why I say that is because I just joined YouTube maybe about a month ago okay but I did my research from October all the way up until even last night I'm still doing my research on how to crack the code when it comes to YouTube how to get over how to promote myself how to make my videos better okay I'm doing it every day joining creator groups talking to people making trying to make friends now, do I blame YouTube for this? Well, somewhere between their story, her story, her family story lies the truth. Okay? Now, from somebody who's just getting started, let me just say, it's sad. Nobody needs to lose their life. Nobody needs to be hurt uh, over something that is so, so just silly. But some of you out there who are creators who have been doing this for a while, y'all have taken it to a whole nother level of being crazy. Okay? And like I said, I've done my research and I've watched a lot, a lot, a lot of videos where y'all talked about losing your monetization and your views dropping and not being promoted. I'm sorry, honey, but let me tell you, you can call it a job all you want. For me, this is fun. This is not a job. I have a job, okay? And I work nine to 10 hours a day at it on a salary, okay? And even on my off day, which is Sunday, I'm still working because I live on property. Okay, this is a job. People getting up to go to work at six in the morning, sitting in traffic, trying to get to work, that's a job. Those people who go, who are going to the, the headquarters, the YouTube headquarters and the, uh, the YouTube campuses, 
they have a job. Sitting on your ass with a $300 to $500 camcorder doing pranks is not a job. Okay? Makeup tutorials. Jet setting all over the world doing eating videos. It's not a job. You made it a job. You made it that. Okay? That's what you choose to do. You chose that. That's not a job. That's something you wanted to do. So you said it's a job. Okay? A YouTube creator doesn't impress anybody in the real world on the resume. Mm -mm, not at all. Okay? So let's just get that straight. Okay? Now, hold on. And it's sad. This young woman felt the need to go there and create all this drama and havoc and commotion and, and, and commotion and you know now her family is sad you have people who are hurt who are sad you know now we're right back to where we started with this whole gun control mess um you know on with both sides but let's just let's just be real about it okay if you wasn't so into trying to be the next Logan Paul, and see, YouTube, I kind of blame y'all for this too. I really do, okay? And in a way, it's your fault because your media staff, your promotions people, um, and all, even the outside media, put a spotlight on this, okay? Showing Logan Paul with a five million dollar house and bragging, oh, I made, I got this house, I made my money, you know, from YouTube. And all these people, all these videos with all these, oh, I made this check from YouTube. All these, these videos about making money and joining the YouTube partnership program. See, that's a great thing, okay? You're getting advertisers that promotes YouTube, that makes YouTube bigger, puts you guys in the realm of, you know, actually becoming a real serious media broadcasting type of company. But see, if you wouldn't have been so hot on letting everybody show their checks, and, and see, and that's another thing right there. I'm sorry, baby, but children brag about how much they make it. People who don't have nothing, who never will have anything real in their life, brag about that money, show their checks, and all that stuff. You know what? That's great. You worked hard at it, okay? You worked hard at it. Even myself, if if it was if I got to that point, I'll be happy too. But I'm not gonna show my checks. I'm not gonna show what I've gotten because you know that's that's ridiculous. I'm trying to get to the next level like a lot of you. But see, YouTube, you should have never let these people divulge that kind of information. You know, there shouldn't have been a spotlight on Logan Paul. There shouldn't have been talk about how much people are getting from their channels and how much money. Because then that just caused all these other lazy motherfuckers out here to want to jump on the bandwagon. And now see, I make videos too, just like a lot of you, but I do it because I love to. I do it because I like to cook. I like music. So hence my channel, Cooking and Jamming. It's not about the money because I know there's no way I'm going to get 10,000 subscribers and all of this other stuff. There's no way. I do videos that have been done a million times over. Okay, and I'm not about to, about to sit out here and try to impress a bunch of teenagers and do stupid stuff and wear wigs and all that crazy mess. No, if you watch, you watch. If you don't, you don't. But at least I get the satisfaction of knowing that I'm making something that even if it is only 20 something people want to see, at least they're getting to see it. Yeah, that's some good peppermint tea. Anyway, and all of you out here with these videos and 
you know, you sitting at home all day, you devoting eight to 12 hours a day. Okay, that's great. That's wonderful. You, you, you know, you're showing a, 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 a com, you know, you're, you're showing your commitment, you're showing your devotion. But I really believe a lot of you out there are only doing this because of the money. And now that YouTube done got woke, as some of you say, to all this and decided, hey, we not gonna make no real money from these people who just getting money because they're doing stupid things and you know and all this other stuff and they decided to change some things y'all lost y'all goddamn mind all on here oh my views are gone i'm gonna go over to this i'm gonna do twitch i'm gonna go over to this one uh youtube is taking this away from us youtube is taking that away from us it ain't like you really earned it that hard anyway I can understand if you got out there and dug ditches and cleaned toilets and you know, YouTube say, you know what, we really want to give you something. It's cute. Yes, I would love to get one of those YouTube trophy plaques, you know, with the press play button on it. I, I think that's cute. Okay. But some of you are not doing all that much anyway to earn what you're getting. I would have changed it a long time ago too if I was YouTube. But you know, this girl had what six channels, and then the policy changed, and she lost her mind. See, when I when I first joked about it and I heard about it, I swear I, I I'm not gonna even lie. I said, "Oh, it's a dude. It's a dude. It's probably a." young 20 year old who was making quite a bit of money and now he's just afraid and scared because he gonna have to go work outside of his bedroom he gonna have to finally leave his mom and daddy's house get out of their basement or their garage apartment and go get a real job and he feel like his whole world is because that's how that's how some of you were talking on your on your uh, videos i mean angry mad pissed off you know all just upset over it but and I get why some of you were mad I do I mean camera equipment time that you 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 know you're doing these videos that's a lot of time that's a lot of money I, I know just initially me getting started you know I spent quite a bit of my own money thank God I have a job that I can spend that money and do that and I know some of you had to you know dig in the dirt to get your camera equipment and do all kind of stuff but uh, like I said this is not a job for some of us who are doing this we're just doing it because we like to do it and I know some of you probably started off that way but then them checks started coming I read comments about oh I I did this I did this I hit that I'm, I'm monetizing I ain't seen my money yet if you got a real job, you ain't worried about that check from YouTube, you know? So, like I said, I understand how and why this happened. I don't sympathize with the girl, because that's just a bullshit, punk-ass way of, uh, uh, of handling your, your, your problem, you know? She seemed educated, she seemed smart, what she should have done was get on up and go and out here and, and try to do something, you know, that because she could have made money from animal rights or, you know, or helping people from other countries and not sitting around being 38, 39 years old trying to make a career off of YouTube. You know, it just didn't make no sense. Because not everybody's going to be able to buy cars and houses and you know and all that from doing this you know there is that one percent who get who get lucky but think about all of them who have gotten lucky where the hell are they going to be in about two to five years nobody in the real world going to really know them outside of youtube and if they don't cross over to mainstream media, definitely nobody going to know them. Okay? So, that's my whole opinions on the on the shooting. You know, really. It, it, it's just... 
it's sad and I hate that it happened, okay? And I, I don't wish bad on anybody like that unless they actually deserve it. But those people inside that those headquarters and that, that, that building were innocent. And yes, she took a punk ass way out by going in there and expressing her anger. Okay, and then the police didn't act on it when they should have because the family tried to warn them. All right, but she was she was crazy, and then this whole monetization thing pushed her over the edge. YouTube, it's a business. I know you're doing what you gotta do, you know, and 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 I don't blame you for that. Okay, because if that's your way of weeding out some of these lazy ass get money folks and scammers and all that, get them. I say get they ass. Cancel their videos, kill their channel, kill them. Get them out of there. Because there are too many people who really want to make really good videos, who really want to just put decent content out there and entertain people like myself without having to stoop to pranks and being vulgar and showing dead bodies and all that, okay? So, like I said, if you're doing this because you need the money or you're trying to make a whole bunch of money and you upset over this monetization stuff still, just like that, that, that woman who went there and committed that violence, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and possibly go on the Google or pick up a paper and find yourself a job. Because, baby, those days, by my understanding, are over. Okay? Are straight up over. Alright? And if you really want to make some big money entertaining people, get like Shonda Rhimes. Get yourself a laptop and write out a script. And try to pitch the ABC. Maybe then you're going to make yourself popular and famous. Alright? Because, like I said, it, this ain't no job. But for those out there who were hurt and devastated, because I know a shooting can stay with you forever, I pray to God and all the spirits out there will guide you, take care of you, ease your mind. And YouTube, just keep, you know. Keep your head up. Keep doing what you got to do. Like I said, it, it all gets better in the end. But, hey, that's just the world and what we live in, right? All right, so you can go on about your business. Big Daddy done had his rant for the day. I'm going to keep on drinking this tea. I'll talk to you later, baby.